Hi, I'm Mari Windsor, and we're at Windsor Pilates. This is Shannon, recently almost certified in <laughs> Romana's Pilates. <laughs> we're work, it's a work in progress, right? <laughs> and that leads me to my next point. Pilates is a work in progress. It's really, really important when you have a very first time person, let's say that person's never worked out in their life, or even somebody who's thinks they're hyper advanced, you know, the one that walks in and says, I've been doing Pilates for 10 years, and they challenge you, right? Well, sometimes people work a little externally in Pilates. They don't really go for the core. They don't really understand that it's the core or what we call the powerhouse in Pilates that is the governor for your stability and your movement. So everything that you do comes from here. You're using your powerhouse to control stability and you're using your powerhouse to control movement. I always like to say to people to make it simple because I'll tell you what, if you talk too much to a new client, they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> and you, you might be, but that's okay. Um, people don't hear you. People come in and they want to move. So it's best to make it really, really simple, all right? So I tell people, this is the area, this is your driver, okay? This is your powerhouse, your glutes, your upper inner thighs, your abdominals, your upper abdominals, and into your back. That's your driver. Everything else in your body, all your limbs kind of go along for the ride, but they have to be supported and they have to be lengthened. That's how you get the long, lean, toned body. That's all you need to say long, lean, toned body, that's what they're gonna hear, because that's what they want to hear. That's why they're there. But it's also important, <clears throat> excuse me, to ask that new client, well, what are your goals? What, what do you want to get out of this workout? What have you heard? And listen to them. It's really important as an instructor and as meeting somebody for the first time to know that your client, when they're talking to you, you're listening. Because guess what? When you talk to them, they'll listen. It's a, little, it's a little secret, it's a little trick that I do. You have to be really intent on listening to what they have to say and letting them know that you're there to help them meet their goals and to help them feel better than they did when they walked in the door. Now if somebody comes into your studio and they say, well I have chronic back pain or I, have, I think I have an injury or I definitely have an injury, your first question should be, have you been to a doctor and how, from a one to 10 scale, what's your level of pain and is it all day long or is it intermittent? If it's a worst case scenario, you might wanna say, have you seen a doctor? And what does the doctor say? If they say, well, no, I haven't seen a doctor, I'm trying to fix it myself. It might be a good idea for you to recommend some place that they could go to be seen by a professional so that you know that you're on the right page with that person. Remember guys, we are not doctors, okay? Some of us are physical therapists and that's great, but we are not doctors. We can't see inside the body like some of the talented medical practitioners that we have in this country. We are there to just work the body out. We are Pilates instructors, sometimes psychiatrists, but don't let me get started on that one. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. So it, the most important thing, Romana always said the most important aspect of, of working a first time person out, even if it's very simple, 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 get them moving. Get them to move, that's really important. Right, Shannon? You wanna feel better, and the way you feel better is to get your circulation going. And you can't get your circulation going if you're listening to somebody explain an exercise for 15 minutes. It doesn't work, it doesn't translate, and they're not really gonna care. All right, it's too much information. It's not that eventually they don't need to hear it, but it, at first it's just too much information. I've seen people that are newly certified stand in front of a client where they're lying down on their back waiting to do footwork. They like to tell them everything there is to know about footwork. Well, you know, it, it's not that interesting to somebody who wants to just come in and work. They're not training to be a teacher. They're a client. They don't have to be perfect. You wanna get them moving. Even if it's not done perfect or extra, especially wonderful the first time, they're not gonna injure themselves. You're there. 
If there's a little something out of alignment, just maybe shift it over a little bit, maybe move the feet a little bit, whatever it is that you need to do to get the body aligned. And if you do that, you can watch and you'll know exactly how to proceed in your, the rest of your workout with that particular person, all right? And it's really good, don't talk too much. Don't tell them everything. Don't stand there in front of the client and go, oh my God, look at your hip. What is the matter with that hip? and your shoulder, what have you done? Have you been in an accident? <laughs> People don't want to hear about what's wrong with them. They want to get better. And that's all you're there to do. It's not important to try to impress somebody with names of muscles. Who cares? It's not important to impress somebody with everything you know about Pilates. Where do you go from there? Plus, it's not going to interest the client, right? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a beginning workout. I'm going to correct while we move because that's the key to working out a first time person. If you're going to make corrections, you do it through movement, not through stagnation because the person wants to move. All right. And you teach them how to go deep inside the muscle. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit of story uh, about Romana. Uh, my friend Janice Dulock, who is a level two teacher trainer that's in Champaign, Illinois, had a group of wonderful apprentices, and she was so excited for Romana to come and see how, how uh, perfectly she had prepared all her um, so-called would-be teachers. And she was telling, oh, they can do this, they can do that, blah, 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 blah. And Romana was very quiet on the other end of the line. And she said, yes, dear, but can they do the basics? Good question. We work, we tend to work externally. It's important that someone realizes, like I said again, what governs the movement and the stability is the powerhouse. If somebody has a weak back or a bad back, the best thing for you to do is to keep the torso stable Try to get into the powerhouse and don't move the back because you don't know. Should I round? Should I arch? What should I do? You don't know. You want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. And like I said, if somebody has a really bad back, make sure they maybe visit a doctor first. Have that conversation before they actually come into the studio expecting a workout, right? There's nothing worse than going in, well, I can't work you out. You're too injured. <laughs> You gotta do something. I've, I used to see Romana put somebody against the wall, do the, do the wall roll down, circle the arms, come over, she'd come over, they'd come over to the Cadillac, she'd stretch their legs, she'd put the, the springs in the hands and they'd do some arm, and that was it. 15, 20 minutes and she'd send them home. They were happy, it was enough. They felt better than they did when they walked through the door. They didn't have too much information leaking out of their brain from, from the, the, the instructor talking too much. It was simple, it was pure. And that's what she did. She knew what to do with every single person that walked in the door. She had this sense that was like, I wish all of us had what she had, but we don't. We all have a piece of her, you know? It's, it's, like, it's like a piece, we all have a piece. She's this big, beautiful puzzle. And I think that we all have a piece of her. So my piece is that I like to make pe people feel better than they did when they walked in the door. And I like to make people laugh. That's my piece. She always used to make people laugh. So Shannon, you're going to lie down on your back.